There's just two games left in the regular season and plenty that still needs to be decided. Here's my top five on Valentine's Day. At number five, it's the Minnesota Duluth men. UMD got back on track this weekend with a couple of home wins over Minot State and U Mary. And while the Bulldogs can't win the North Division, they are just one game behind MSU Moorhead for the two seed in the North and the all important first round bye that comes with it. They're still a dangerous team even if they stay in the third spot, but the opportunity is there. Coming in at number four, the Augustana women. The number one team on the Taking Shape countdown for the past two weeks takes a bit of a tumble after their loss on Saturday to Minnesota State. In a matchup of teams tied for the lead in the NSIC South Division, the Vikings fell behind early and couldn't really recover. Augie's 10-game winning streak may be over, but they're guaranteed a first-round bye because of other results in the conference. No doubt the Vikings will regroup and be ready to go in the coming weeks. And at number three is Augie's counterpart from Saturday in Minnesota State. The Mavs come up with their biggest win of the season, forcing an astounding 32 Augustana turnovers and a 22-point victory on the road. MSU now has a one-game lead in the standings for the South Division title, with two to play, as well as the tiebreaker edge by defeating Augustina twice this season. The Mavericks' formula for winning all season long has been their pressure defense, and that pressure was applied at exactly the right time. Coming in at number two are the Minnesota Duluth women. UMD secured a couple of home wins by more than 20 points this past weekend, and more importantly clinched their third straight regular season NSIC championship. They'll look to match that regular season title with a third straight tournament title later this month, but once again it's clear that the Bulldogs are primed for another postseason run. And our number one team this week is the Northern State men, who clinched at least a share of both the NSIC North and overall regular season titles. Head coach Saul Phillips notched his 300th career victory with the win over Bemidji State on Friday, and the Wolves have now won eight in a row. Northern State's streak of four consecutive tournament titles ended last season, but they'll be one of, if not the favorite, to make it five in six years soon enough.